there is one question that you've been asking me and the team for over a year. And we're finally ready to give you an answer. Floating notes 2.0 is not going to happen because today we're introducing Raycast Notes. It's the same fast, responsive, frictionless note taking experience you've come to love from floating notes, but with new features that give you way more flexibility and adapt to a wide variety of workflows. Raycast Notes is available now if you run check for updates. Or if you're still not using Raycast, then check out the link in the description so you can download it for free and install it on your Mac. Now let's take a look at what's new. You can now take advantage of markdown formatting to have more structured notes, such as heading sizes, bold, italic, strike through, lists, checked lists, and more. Of course, there are keyboard shortcuts for each of these, which you can find in the brand new Command K palette, as well as in the new optional formatting toolbar at the bottom. I personally love this for adding a little more detail to my notes, specifically with checklists that helps me keep track of the things I'm working on. You can finally have an unlimited amount of notes if you're a pro subscriber. There's a link down below for a free trial or up to five notes for the free plan, which you don't even need an account for. So there's no excuse not to try it. You can just hit Command N to create a new note, then Command P to search through all your notes. There's also a brand new command from the root search called search notes that allows you to do that. And as usual, shift command P lets you pin a note to the top of the list. So it's always easy to find. Multiple notes in Raycast has been highly requested and I've noticed I've been writing things down a lot more since. Along with text formatting, you can now resize the window or activate the auto resize option. Of course, you can also reposition it anywhere on the screen to fit all sorts of workflows and setups. But as a quick tip, if you double click on the note title, which itself is a new thing, by the way, you can have the note float back to its original position. Here are two slightly more advanced features that I love. You can now export any note in three different formats, plain text, markdown, or HTML. Super flexible and great for getting started on composing an email, writing a blog post, or whatever it may be. Now the coolest one is this, create a quick link. That will give you a direct link to a specific note, which you can assign a hotkey to. So you can open it from anywhere on your Mac with a single keystroke without breaking a flow state. To get started using Raycast Notes, all you have to do is search for it in the root search. Previously, we used to have two commands, one to toggle the floating nodes window and another to toggle focus. We've merged them into one command now, so you can do that with a single hotkey. To set it up, just press Command K, search for configure command and pick your combination. Mine, as you probably already know, is option N, N for notes. If you've been using a hotkey for floating notes, then that will continue to work normally for Raycast notes. It's a seamless migration. We really hope you enjoy these new features. There's been a whole revamp behind the scenes to ship that to you. I'm really excited for you to try it out and make sure to give us your feedback because we're gonna keep iterating on it. If you're new to Raycast and you wanna check out what else it has to offer, then have a look at this video where I go over 101 things that you can use Raycast for. See you in the next one.